Hey everybody, Hesitated Gold here. Welcome to my brand new blind let's play of Fire Emblem Echoes Shadows of Valentia. So yeah, this game was just released today by the time of this recording, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to upload this tomorrow. So yeah, so this game was released today. I'm so excited. I mean, this is a game I've been looking forward to doing and yeah, I just can't wait. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> All right, so let's get started, shall we? I'm going to require it for this intro just because I want to see it. Oh, fine. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Once upon a time, there was a god named Duma and a goddess named Mila who fought each other bitterly for an age. Hey, why did Mila and Duma have to fight so much? Couldn't they just say they were sorry? Let's promise we'll never end up like that, okay? Yeah, nothing will ever come between us. <laughs> Well, here we are guys, Fire Emblem, Echo, Shadows of Valentia, and wow, that opening was cool. <laughs> it's also kind of like anime cutscenes, as you saw, like, cutscenes look like very anime-ish, you could say. But still, it was pretty awesome opening, I do say. Now, I'm pretty sure you know what this game is about, but basically this game is kind of like a remake of another Fire Emblem game that was released, like, years ago, and I think it was the... Fabicon system? Oh, hold on. Oh, oh, hold on. Okay, hold on. Let's just open this here real quick. Okay, there we go. Okay, anyway, as I was about to say, so basically this game is a remake of Fire Emblem Gaiden, which is basically, from what I based on my knowledge of Fire Emblem, this game was released for the Fabicon, I believed. But back then, this game wasn't very popular, from what I hear. Like, I guess people call this game like the black sheep of the Fire Emblem franchise. And I guess it's because people didn't, you know, like this game or didn't play it very much or didn't know much about it. So it's kind of interesting that Nintendo is doing a remake of a game that people have never, I guess, played or heard of. So it's kind of interesting. But what it basically, from what I've seen from like, you know, like the trailers and, you know, the artwork, they did a really good job with like remaking this game. like. You have to imagine, like, back then, the time, the graphics of Final Gaiden were okay, but, eh, not really well, but from looking at what I'm seeing right here, it looks pretty awesome. So, yeah, let's see how this journey will take us, shall we? 
Now I do know that this game is kind of different from the other Fire Emblem games, and I do understand that there are some mechanics that I may not know or have a hard time with, so I'll try my best not to, you know, I guess mess up, you could say. But yeah, let's see how this, what this game has to offer, and yeah. Okay, we have normal or hard. Obviously, I'm going to play on hard because I have an experienced Fire Emblem veteran. So hard it is. Uh-oh. Okay, here we go. Oh, what to choose, what to choose. Oh, I don't know. You know, I'm so tempted to do classic, but then again, I, I'm kind of a guy who likes to keep all my units alive and have everyone so I can see those support conversations and yeah. I mean, if I did play this game before and knew what to do, I would do it on a classic, but for the sake of me for not trying to restart the game just because I lose a unit, which I don't want to do, so unfortunately, I'm gonna have to play in casual mode. I know I don't want to, but I just feel like I have to just because I haven't played this game and I just want to see what this game has to offer, you know? So, yeah, so we're gonna play on casual. Would you like to see notifications, cool announcements? Uh, Now, nah. you may choose to share information about your gameplay on Nintendo in order to help us develop product services. No, sorry. Flotsam 402 VC. Prologue, Alum and Celica. Wow, I was not expecting that. Um, um. <sighs> Where did he go this time? What's the matter, Faye? Don't tell me you're after him again. Oh, hey, Gray. Say, have you seen Alm? I can't find him anywhere. Alm, don't waste your time looking for that guy. Cliff. Wait, why not? He and Selica went off for a stroll in the woods. I saw them leave. He's with Selica? Again? Exactly. Again? I mean, Selica just moved to Ram Village, right? <sighs> nice to know we're so easily replaced. He's not replacing us. Selica's his cousin. Of course they're gonna be close. Uh, I hate to break it to you, Faye. Huh? Sir Myson only has one grandkid, and that's all. Selica is his ward. Mother told me. They're not related by blood. Cliff's moss spouting gossip? Huh? I don't believe it. Still, I like where the story is going. Selica and her dark, unspeakable past. Stop that, would you? So does this mean... I mean... Is Om gonna marry her someday? W marry her? Are we having the same conversation? <laughs> oh, there you are. You guys will never believe this. Hey, Tobin. Believe what? Somebody saw a knight in the woods. A real knight from the castle. Come on, let's go check it out. What? Why would a knight come here? <laughs> Big fan of manure or something? I'm not missing this. He could be the last night we see for months or years. Cliff, Faye, you coming? Yeah. Huh? Hey, wait up. 
Okay, so I guess this game is now voice acted. Um, over here! Come look at this! Oh, what? We're in control? Okay. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay, so before we start, um, I just want to mention, from what I've heard, also this game is very voice acted, apparently, so I guess I don't need to do any voice acting. I guess I only have to do it for, like, support conversations, I guess? Because if this game is going to be, like, hold, like all the vo voice acted, I, I don't mind. I mean, that saves me the trouble trying to, you know, act and stuff. But I highly doubt it. I think only the important sequences are going to be voice acted. But who knows, maybe the whole game will be voice acted. I mean, that'll be kind of interesting. A Fire Emblem game with full voice acting. No need for you to talk whatsoever. <laughs> huh, okay. Oh, look at this. Whee! <laughs> We're just exploring this field of flowers. Meeting our companion, or I guess slash fiance in the future? I don't know. What is it, Celica? You find something? I made a wreath out of these flowers. Here, put it on. What? No. Why not? I think it'd make you look very handsome. I think you mean very stupid. Boys don't wear wreaths. Don't call it stupid. It took me a long time to make this. Fine then. Maybe I'll just give it to Grandpapa instead. You're kidding, right? Grandpapa knows a manly wreath when he sees one. Unlike some boys. Ha <laughs> ha, very funny. You're picturing him wearing it. <laughs> Admit it. <laughs> There's the smile I was looking for. Huh? What, is something wrong? No, I just... I'm glad you've cheered up is all. When you first came to the village, you always wore such a dark expression. Plus, you never spoke a word. Your grandpapa told me to be nice, but... I wasn't sure how to make things better. Well, I think you did just fine. Each story that you told me, each flower you picked for me, each walk you took with me here in the woods, that all made a difference, Om. Come on, I didn't do anything special. Or maybe you did. I'm sorry that my first words to you were so unkind. Are you talking about when you called me a boar or a clod? Hey, I said I'm sorry. I've just never had any friends my age. So I guess I wasn't used to boys like you. Well, I'd never met a girl like you either. Don't let it get to you. Say, um, why are you so nice to me? Why? Do I need a reason? I mean, I guess it's because I never knew my parents, I have no siblings, and Grandpapa has always forbid me from setting foot outside the village. You're like a window to a world that I've never had the chance to know. Is that a good enough reason, or... Oh, hey! What is it? See this? We have the same mark. Um, yes? Except yours is on your left hand and mine is on my right. Well, that makes us close. Uh, doesn't it? <laughs> I suppose it does, in a strange sort of way. I wonder why the marks are so similar. It's because they're special. They prove that the two of us belong together. Always. That is, if you're not already tired of a clod like me making you laugh. Of course not. So, do you mean it? We'll always be together? Yes. I promise. Isn't that what you want? Yes, of course! You have my word. I'll never leave... Ah! Huh? That was Faye! Is she in trouble? It came from beyond those trees. Come on! Stop it! Let me go! <laughs> Looks like our luck's picked up, eh, Sir Slade? After days of the same old trees, such cherubic faces are welcome indeed. After all, where little brats play, we'll find a village, I say. Listen well, you whelps. My men and I, loyal knights in service to His Majesty King Lima IV, may the powers bless him in his name until the end of days, hereby command you to lead us to your miserable line of hovels. 
where you shall have the honor of dining us and otherwise providing all comforts. It shall be an evening to remember. So lead on, and make haste now. But, but, we can't just... We'll get the scolding of our lives if we bring strangers to the village. Good Sir Knight, if I may. <clears throat> our home is but a small village. To call it a line of hovels is too generous. We do not wish to offend you when you are clearly deserving of so much more. So please, we humbly implore your great mightiness to... You, boy, have you an older sister? Uh, me? I have two, actually. What about him? <laughs> That'll suffice. We'll take all the food and drink you can muster, and your sisters can serve it. I wager we'll get naught but pig feet and horse piss, but so be it. I shall force it down, if I must. <laughs> Cliff, shut your hole! Don't cry in front of him! But Gray... We should all be crying, Gray! We're not really gonna take him to the village, are we? Hey, I don't like it either! If I knew the Royal Knights were such royal turds, I never would've... Enough chittering, little squirrels! I am not a patient man! If you do not wish to entertain us the one way, you can entertain us the other. Perhaps we shall remove your tiny heads from your shoulders, one by one. Ah! You first, Philly. Don't worry, lass. I'll make a nice, clean cut. No! Back off! How many whelps does this blasted village contain? Get away from my friends! You're not going to set one foot in our village! Is that so? Someone neglected to teach this mangy pup any manners. Hmm. <laughs> you there, girl. Show me your face. No! Oh, by the gods! It really is her! <laughs> How you came to walk among these animals is beyond me. Regardless, you shall make a fine prize to take back to General Desai. Seize her! No! Let me go! Get your hands off her! <gasps> oh, you did not just punch a knight! <clears throat> you dare raise a hand to me, you baseborn, barn bred! So be it. You will stave off your death sentences no longer, especially you. <laughs> <laughs> the mother can't save you now, Pratt. Um, look out! Huh? Uh, Grandpapa? What? My son, what are you doing in a backwater wasteland like? Ah, but I think I know. Hmm. Now this, this is indeed good fortune. We never finished what we started in the flames that night, old man. I have much to repay you for. I mustn't forget all my virtues, after all. Children, run to the cemetery up ahead. Go on now. What? Why? What are you gonna do? Now, Om. All of you. Run! Uh, all right. Come on, guys. Listen well, children. We will drive these ruffians away, but you must follow my every command. What? But we're no match for them. You're serious, Grandpapa? He's always serious. It's just that this time he's also crazy. We can't do this. Half a dozen children can't win against mountain knights. <laughs> I, I want my mother. <laughs> I want to go home. Enough! The only way you're going home is by fighting as if your life depends on it. Om, Selica. Uh, sir, 
I trust you to remember some of what I've taught you of the sword. Now, clear the mind, steady the hand, and show me what you've learned. Only you can get yourselves through this. Are you ready? I want you to follow my every command. First, get yourselves to a safer position. Okay. All right, we're in our first battle, and like I said, I I guess the game's voice acted, so I guess there's no need for me need for me to talk. Okay. Whatever. I'm fine with that. Okay, but first, let's go over the map. What do we got? Um. Okay. So we have these guys. Uh, two soldiers. Uh, some cavaliers. Okay, and we have this guy. Okay, so there's only four of them, so looks like we're gonna be using this guy right here. Um Okay, so this is the objective. Route the enemy, okay. Uh, what's this? Additional combatants. Oh, I guess it's the numbers of... Okay, so... Okay, so that tells you how many units have for each army. Okay. Okay, raiding. Mm-hmm. Huh, okay. Okay, let's go over our characters first, real quick. Okay, we have Celica. Uh, she only has a dagger, though. And we have Alm. We also have Grey. Faye. Tobin. And Cliff. Okay. And they all have swords, except for... Oh, she has a golden dagger, but... Okay, they all have swords. Okay. Um, okay, what am I doing? Keep your distance from the enemy. Don't try to pursue them. Okay, yes, I know how to move them. Alright, but where should they go? Uh, okay. Hmm. Alright. Oh, it's kind of cool. When you select them, they talk, too. Uh, I, I'll do my best. Wow, okay. Okay. Where should I move them? Well, you know what? I think it's... Wait, no, we can't go there. I think it might be best if they go to this side here, so let's move them all the way here. Take shelter in the trees there. They can provide cover. Remember, always use the surrounding terrain to your advantage. Okay, so when finding on terrain such as force, enemy attacks, yes. Okay, I know that. Um, okay. Hold on, did I turn off the... Uh... I thought I turned off the... Accidentally turned off the. Okay, that's why. <laughs> okay, that explains it. Okay, let's leave that on. Uh, bookmark, you can save, guide, okay. Alright, All right. everyone, flee while you can. Okay, what can you do? Okay, is there a way to change the way the battle looks? Hold on. Oh, I guess not. Okay. Okay, 90% hit, attack, 24. Okay, so we're gonna, we can attack twice. Okay. Uh, how about you? What can you do? Ooh, two? Wait, what? Hold on, I'm confused. Sorry, hold on. What? Okay, <laughs> I'm not used to this, uh, uh, the way it looks. Okay, hold on. Ugh. Sorry, I, I don't know why I'm being so confused right now. I shouldn't. Can I change this? Hold on. 
Is there a setting to change this? This interface is so weird. I can't tell which is good or not. Okay, hold on. Let me go over this again. Um, okay, that's health. I know that. That's attack. That's much damage you could do. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Whatever. I'll figure it out later. Let's put you right here. You've done all you can for now. Now brace for their attack. Yes, I know this. Uh-huh. Alright, let's see how this goes. I will not be stopped. Enough. <laughs> You're no match for me. Alright, so far so good. Oh, you can move. That's a problem. Okay, so it showed he did 20 damage, but where does it show that? Like... It doesn't show, like, what the strength is, you know? Ugh, I'm so not used to this. You guys, keep moving. I want you out of danger. Alright, let's put you right here. Hit us. Be at peace. Well, that doesn't matter. You only did one damage, so. Oh, the boss is not gonna move? Okay. Oh, I could finish him. Because you'll have zero health. Alright, let's do it. Damnable luck. Oh, what? I missed? Ah. I will not be stopped. Oh, that's why we have thirty three percent hit. That's why we're missing. Okay. All right, come on. I knew you can hit him. What? You're no match for me. Ah, uh, come on, man. You can do it. There you go. Damn, they nearly have me. But not today. I must return to the castle. General Desay will be eager to learn that we have found her. The princess who refuses to die. <laughs> there we go, battle complete. You got an award. Made in victory. Awarded for winning your first battle. Cool. Oh, are these like achievements? Oh, that would be so cool if it is. Oh, okay. So I guess i probably end it right here, guys. So, yeah. Overall, I think this game's pretty interesting. I mean, the story is interesting. Although the gameplay is kind of a bit different from what I'm used to in a Fire Emblem game. Because I was a bit confused back there, you know, I was trying to figure out how much damage what enemy does to what, but it didn't show for some reason, so... I don't know. But yeah, overall, I think it's a fun game so far. 
but yeah, we'll see what the rest of this game has to offer. But unfortunately, that's me for next time, guys. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you have a like and comment as well. And next time, we shall continue with the story and see where we go from here. And yeah. So this has been Estate Cobra here. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.